So, I now have a new PC. It can run games that aren't built off engines from 1993. Hopefully I can start playing some more demanding games, so if there's anything you want me to play, preferably something free, feel free to request them in the comments. I have Control installed in my Epic account, but even with this much beefier setup, I still feel they could end up turning into a slide, so... Anyway, today we're going to be covering Sunset Over Chaos by Princess Blasima, a set of seven custom bosses. You don't get custom bosses very often in SRB2, so this is pretty unique. Let's dive in. The variety of bosses we have on display here are pretty astounding, with everything from your standard Eggmobile fights, to battles against giant frogs, to a race in a volcano, and even a swarm battle against an army of rats. That's a far more interesting selection of bosses than you'd find in the base game, which is almost entirely comprised of fights against Eggman in whatever his latest Eggmobile is, and then a couple of more unique encounters against foes that are basically enemy players in how they act. Instead, Sunset Over Chaos has created a far more diverse cast, with changes to everything from how much health an enemy has, to how many phases they have, to none there are attacks they can use. Gone are the days where you can enter a boss stage and pretty confidently go, alright, here's a boss that can take 8 hits and will use one attack before allowing me to attack them. Upon being here for the fifth time they will enter a second phase, where their attacks will change and likely become harder to avoid. Now, one encounter will be a fight against a Thunderbird with one cycle of attacks they can use that become progressively more powerful and intricate as the fight goes on, but then the next fight will be against a new Eggmobile with probably 7 or 8 phases with different attacks, and after that you'll find yourself in a race against a Serpent who uses two completely separate design ethos between their two phases. The bosses all straddle a good middle ground between being difficult and being fair. I will admit that sometimes there'd be the odd attack or two where I'd be wondering how I was supposed to avoid it but there would then be a fairly forgiving window of opportunity to pick your rings back up. As a whole, I'd say the bosses here were all a little more difficult than the collection you fight in the base game, but not to a ridiculous degree. There are a few problems here though, chief among which being that these are long. I mean, they're still only about 2-3 to three minutes each, but in comparison to the vanilla caster bosses, that's a good 2-3 to three times longer for every fight, and when significant portions of some of these fights, like against the Stormbird or the Ultimate Eggmobile, are just avoiding attacks by running to the other end of the arena, that can start to drag. And this might just be a problem for myself here, who doesn't play multiplayer SRB2 at all, and therefore isn't used to how lobbies are supposed to work, but dying against a boss seems to mean having to start the gauntlet again, or sit there watching the boss continue their attack patterns. It took me a fair while to figure out that the bosses are found in the multiplayer maps, and then a little while longer to figure out how to set up a lobby for just myself, so it's entirely possible that I'm missing the exceedingly obvious reset map button somewhere, but I'm just left wondering why these couldn't be made normal single player levels. Maybe it's something to do with being made in using SOC, I have no knowledge of what coding in that changes about things like compatibility. Sunset Over Chaos sort of breaks the mold for SRB2 level packs by having a storyline in the game where people can see it. Saying that, vanilla SRB2 doesn't really have that either, so maybe it's just part of the experience. Essentially, and spoilers ahead for anyone who really doesn't want to know the story of a boss pack mod for a Sonic fan game, Sonic Overdrive from back in the final demo days goes around and kills all recolor characters, including himself. Feeling hatred and spite for the situation he finds himself in, floating in a featureless void for all eternity, he creates the five holy socks, which he uses to summon five great metal beasts to unleash upon the unsuspecting world. As you may have guessed from that summary, the story is comedic in nature, filled with final demo references and easter eggs. All the metal beasts are incels who can't accept the modern SRB2 might be a little better than the labyrinths of corridors that make up final demo stages, and in their anger at the removal of such incredible level design features as switch puzzles and enemy swarms, are destroying the areas you fight them in revenge. Throw in some Sonic heroes and sarcastic remarks about the inability to customize cutscenes depending on the character before the fight against Eggman, and then a conclusion that basically just says the modern SRB2 user base is way less toxic than the old one, and you have your story. Fine enough, but my only problem with these cutscenes is that they are so long, with no way to skip them and having already watched all of them. When going back to record this footage, 
I just browsed Twitter on my phone until the boss music kicked in for most of these, because it is mind-numbing watching text slowly crawl across a couple of still images with no sound effects or voice acting. For the sake of your sanity, I'd recommend downloading doing both versions of Sunset Over Chaos, both the one with cutscenes and the one without, as I can't imagine anyone wanting to sit through these on repeat playthroughs. Aesthetically, Sunset Over Chaos looks pretty good. I like the boss designs, with some even having some 3D looking sprites and managing to look pretty intimidating, a rare feat in SRB2. I feel like there were multiple artists involved here though, obviously with the vanilla sprite for the ultimate eggmobile and presumably the sprites from the Sonic Overdrive mod used for, for the final boss, but even among the metal beasts, I feel that there's quite a significant range in what these look like. The Sunset Fae looks like it was created by a completely different artist than Sunset Ryu, for example. I think a highlight of the pack is when Sonic Overdrive uses his desperation attack. Starting it up, it looks like something you see in an anime, even if I'm fairly certain you just have to damage boost to actually avoid it afterwards. I've seen some disappointment in the review section of this mod page that the bosses don't use custom music, and I get where they're coming from, but I didn't find myself overly annoyed by that. Could the creator have reasonably found more fitting music somewhere on the internet? I'm sure they could, but the vanilla boss music they've used still feels like it works fairly well, so I'm not going to really score the mod poorly for that. Overall, Sunset Over Chaos is a mod of pretty great quality. A pack of custom bosses is an idea we really need to see more of, and considering that this was made using SOC, a language I'm told is quite frustrating to use in comparison to Lua, these are really fun. They hit the right balance of challenging without being overly frustrating, and there's a tension of having to start the gauntlet again if you're defeated, even if I don't know how deliberate that was or even whether that's stupidity on my end. I like the design to the bosses, especially Sunset Ryu, and having a storyline is pretty unique, even if I feel the cutscenes are really boring. I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. After this video, I'll be on holiday for a week, so don't expect any videos for a while. Sorry about that, but I hope you enjoy the video, and ciao.